Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 106. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 101 to 106. Hey, in Trick 106, we're going to build a Gantt chart in the cells using conditional formatting. And we've already, I've already done a video called Excel Magic uh, Trick 93, but that one there we used years. And this one we're going to use actual dates. These are actual dates um, typed in there that are serial numbers underneath. Now we're going to use conditional formatting, but I want to build a true-false formula here in this cell first where it's easy to see when we copy it over and down. Because when you use conditional formatting and other things like data validation, uh, the, the formulas are stored in memory. So sometimes it's easier to actually see how it works in the cells and then delete them and then go put it into the conditional formatting uh, text box. What we need is a true-false. Here's this project, this date, and this date. We need to compare these two dates to this. So for instance, if we want a color here, this date has to be greater than or equal to that one, and it has to be greater than or equal to that one. Whereas here, the start date, and, and it would come out true here. Whereas here, if we asked, is this greater than or equal to that, it would be false. So there'd be no color there. Let's build a formula here. We're going to use AND equals AND. AND is a way of taking two logical tests. And only if they're both true will AND deliver a true to the cell. So I got AND. And the first logical test is going to be this cell. Now think about this. We're going to have to copy this through all of these cells. We need this cell reference locked going down. For this whole column, it needs to look at 915. But when it moves over here, it needs to move relatively. So I'm going to hit my F4 key once and twice. That locks it going down, but not to the side. And that has to be greater than or equal to this. Now, this is the opposite in terms of cell references. When we go across the columns, we need it looking there. But when we move it down, we want it moved to the next one. So we have to hit F4, F4, F4. Dollar sign in front of the column, which means locked across the columns. But no dollar sign in front of the 8, which means as you copy it down, it will move relatively. Comma. And then we need to do one more test. That, F4, F4, less than or equal to this, F4, 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 to move the dollar sign there. And that's the logical test that will work everywhere. Close parentheses, Control Enter. You can see if I copy this down, it's um, false. And that will work through all of the cells. I'm going to Control Z, Control Z. I'm going to, in this cell, hit F2. I'm going to highlight all of that very carefully. Control X to cut it. And then click it. Oops. Control X. I should have just hit to Enter. Now, um, I deleted that formula. We've, we've stored it in memory. And we can paste it up in the conditional formatting dialog box. But first, we have to highlight the whole range here. And very carefully, you have to make sure that the active cell, the light colored one, is up in the corner. Now, conditional formatting, you go to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, and a New Rule. That's 2007. I'm going to click Escape. In 2003, you go to the Format menu, Conditional Formatting. The keyboard shortcut that works in both versions is Alt and then OD, Alt OD. In 2007, I have to click New Rule and then Use Formula. In 2003, you actually, the very first text box, you just point to the drop down and point to Formula Is. And now Control V. There it is. That formula will work through all of the cells. I'm going to click Format. And I'm going to say Red. Notice this says Fill in 2007. In 2003, it says Patterns. And then click OK, and then click OK. And sure enough, we have our little Gantt chart. If we scroll over here, we can see only the cells where the dates meet the criteria up here are highlighted. So that's how to do it with dates instead of years. All right, we'll see you next trick.